Hi, welcome to Street Priest Ministries. I'm your host, Brother Jay, where we're taking the gospel back to the streets. Uh, today's drive through message is on tithing. So turn in your Bibles to Malachi 3. Okay, in Malachi, ends, is the last book in the Old Testament. And it ends in a curse because God's people refuse to recognize God's rights. You see, God told Adam in the garden, all the fruit of the tree you can eat except the knowledge of the fruit, the knowledge of the good and evil, that fruit you cannot eat. So he had access to all trees in the garden. God being God has to draw a line in the sand, in the sand and define a point you don't go past. That's what makes him God. We is, is his creation. He is the creator. Is subject to understanding God has certain rights. Certain rights in a line that we are not to cross. Tithing is one of those lines. Just like the just say no tree in the garden. When God has a just say no, this is mine. The tithes belong to the Lord's period. In Malachi 3, we read, uh, let me see where I want to start. Let's start at chapter 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? I mean, I want that to settle in. Some things you just don't want to run over. I want you to mentally conceptualize, will a man rob God? Will a man jack God? Can you jack God? <laughs> you, had that, you heard that old saying, your arms are too box, your arms are too short to box with God. Can you imagine a man thinking that he can rob God? This is what God asked. He said, will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? See, the man always has the ability. I think it was Henry Drummond that said, it ain't the idea that we sin, but we have to justify our sin and convince, us, convince ourselves that sin is a sin after all. That's what makes it a double sin. And some for hard God to deal with. They said, where do we rob you? What do you mean we rob you? Where have we robbed thee? In tithes, the and offering. Tithe is an old English word. It's actually tense, is what the word is, and tense. But the English, you know, they wanted to fancy the word up and call it tithes. It's, it's tense. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even his whole nation. And this is God's promise that he throws out because he so wants his people to trust him and to bless him. He, this is the only verse, the only verse where God allows you to tempt him. He wiped out two and a quarter million people for tempting him in the wilderness, as you can read about in the Old Testament. The children of Israel put him to the test ten times. He killed them, destroyed their bones in the wilderness. But this is the one time God allows you to tempt him. And he says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me. He said, Put me to the test. This is the, he killed, like I said, two and a quarter million people for proving him. <laughs> he proved him ten times. It's the same word he used. But he said, He allows you to prove him on this. He said, And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. This means he's Lord of everything. He can use anything at his disposal. Jehovah Saba, the Lord of hosts. He's Lord of the demons, the devil. He's Lord of the, the um, elements. He used the sun, enabled the sun and the stars to help some of his people. Uh, he called locusts forth. Read about the plagues of Israel. The Lord of hosts, everything is subject unto him. He invoked the name that gives him absolute power over everything. And he says, Say of the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. 
This is God said, put him to the test to bring him his tithes and offerings. Tithes up and offerings. And prove him. Put him to the test to see if he will not pour you out a blessing. Now, you know, the sad fact is most gamblers got more faith in the slot machines and the tables in Vegas than Christians do in God and tithe. I'll say that again. Most gamblers got more faith in the slot machines and tables in Vegas than most Christians got in God himself regarding tithes and offerings. It belongs to the Lord. It's something not to even argue about. You're robbing him if you're not giving it to him. It belongs to the Lord. And you think you're going to heaven with a cuss attached, you got another thing coming. Especially if you're hearing this message and you refuse to respond. Now, I'll give you a little bit overture in history of tithing because some of you like to rationale, well, that's the Old Testament. Well, let's just see about it. Or that's the law. Well, let's just see about that. Okay, so you go to Genesis 14.20 where it talks about Abraham paying tithes to Melchizedek, which was none other than Shem, his grandfather. The tithes was before the law. Abraham was before the law. The law didn't come until Moses. Then you read, it's also part of the law. God required tithes. Deuteronomy 12.11 and Deuteronomy 26.12 talks about the tithes belonging to the Lord. That's during the law. Then you read in the New Testament, because a lot of you think you can escape by running to the New Testament. No, you can't. Jesus put his stamp of approval on the tithes in Matthew 5.18, where he said, yes, tithing you should have done, but you also should have done other things regarding the Pharisees. So yes, it's never changed. It's an eternal fact. The tithes belong to the Lord. And if you're not paying the tithes, you're a thief and a robber. You're jacking God. You can rationale it. Yeah, I'm just a man. You're dealing with God. Will a man rob God? If you think you can rob God and make it into eternity, more power to you. But for those hearts that are the good hearts, like I've taught in the parable, the seesaw, repent now and start bringing your tithes into the store. Stores is where you get your spiritual food, your bread. If you get it from me, don't rob this ministry. Uh, don't go down to, you know, Joe's Burgers and pay when you're eating at uh, Jay's Burgers. This is Brother Jay's Burgers. And where you don't go down to Joe and pay Joe. <laughs> what are you paying Joe for? You're getting your spiritual food here. <laughs> or if you're getting half and half, half from Joe and Half of Brother Jay, well, give half. Divide the tithes up in half. Give me, give this ministry our half for the teaching. The, the, the storehouse is where you receive the spiritual food. And be this, not deceived. God is not mocked. That's got to do with giving. They've, uh, you know, I've heard ministers turn that into everything that you wanted to believe. But it has to do with the context of giving. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. But whatever men so, as you also will read. God is watching. You can fool Brother Jay, but not God. So now that you have the full knowledge in front of you and understand that the tithes of the Lord, stop robbing him today. And if this, if this ministry moves you, and the Spirit moves you, contribute. Um, we have a donate button here, and it works. Bring you the tithes into Street Priest Ministries. And receive your blessing from God. We only want people to give God's way. And we've made that clear with our disclaimers. Um, if this message has reached you, like I said, bring your ties into to, uh, Street Priest Ministry as well as First Fruits and Alabaster Box. Thank you very much for supporting this ministry. God bless you. Have yourself a great day and a great evening. In Jesus' name. Thank you.